guys. I'm back. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Sky Man. Yo, look, guys. I know you guys aren't really wanting to fight Cass, but this could be our chance to prove ourselves to Routhi. So just think about it. You know what? I have been rethinking my answer to days about Sky. You go on. Do something about Cass, and I agree with him. Oh, really? Thank you, High Five. I knew you could trust me. You're welcome. Because I decided that we should kill Unicron for all the trouble she has brought. Okay, that's just overboard. And I don't know how to kill Unicron. All right, High Five. Show us what you got. All oh, I say then. Our plot to destroy Unicron begins with. An invitation to a villain convention in New York City on a yacht. We'll disguise ourselves as the other villains and tell her that we're going. But then we won't show! Fast flop! Transportation on a yacht? Are those expensive? Yeah, the yacht kind of sounds unnecessary. Emotionally devastated, Cassandra will seek sauce and drown her sorrows at the buffet. A yacht? And the buffet for one person? We ain't paying for that. Fine, we'll blow around these yachts. Now, distracted by all the booze and delicious shrimp. Unicron! Realize that she's being saved from doing like this. Well now, get so hot. She'll jump into the yacht. Put a couple of in the yacht. We'll be filled with sharks! Where did the sharks come from? From the house of the shark tank. Cassandra will be so terrified by the sharks that she'll forget that she's in the volcano and blindly jump into the- What do we all want from a bridge above? <laughs> literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let me, let me handle this. That idea is just the worst. Yeah, that idea is so complicated. Yeah, the longer it is, the more you're not going to get the suspicion of us. Good point, Julian. So, does anyone else have any new ideas? Well, I suggest we get the Rain Booms to help us. Just think, they are part of our first friends aside from the Misfits and the Apples, right? So why not ask for their help? Sunset and Twilight are both really smart asses, so we can form a new brigade called Team Skylar. You know what? That's actually a genius idea! Well, we pretty much already have to talk about kind of test with the Ohanas and- But! We are not finished yet. As we move on, it gets tricky. I think it's time we find the others. Okay. Well, who's gonna go? Oh, I guess I could. Okay, great. Jay and I can look for food. Oh, thanks, man. Thought I almost had to do it. You're welcome. Cole, where are you going? Trying to find some help. That way, and you'll end up in the ocean. Hello? Who's there? Hello, Lloyd. Hi. What? What's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong, Lloyd. If anything, I feel better than ever. Who did this to you? Nobody did anything to me, Lloyd. Kai, stop this. This isn't you. Get used to it, Lloyd. Until you, Fluttershy, and especially Pinky went eating too much ice cream with some kind of beer in it only to get yourself drunk even though we tried to warn you not to. So what? What's wrong with that? Well, one, 
since you three were too drunk. We were forced to stay in the Belcher's restaurant. We more like in the apartment for the night. Two, we had to pay over 100 freaking dollars for too much ice cream. Yeah, not only irresponsibly habits of eating ice cream may cost for some bills to pay, but also cost for us not finishing our school projects early. And once again, detention for being late for school. But they were so yummy. We just got carried away is all. <laughs> like your performance on the stage. By the way, Rainbow Dash. Thanks, Pinky. Hi, yo, ladies. My girlfriend is gonna have her first meeting as the new leader of our band at the gym. All of us members will be there. Don't be late. Sweet. Hopefully this will also be about Princess Twilight 2. Don't get too cocky, Rainbow Dash. You guys, you've got to help me. What's wrong? Looks like we've got company. Looks like they want to play. Kai, Joy, come on. We know you're in there. <laughs> I didn't want to do this. They won't be able to get us up here. Cole, your logic always seems to amuse me. Benefits of the arena being a clone of Ninjago. So there should be more around. What happened to Kai? He's been turned evil. He's a Darius. And this vision about Cass just made it more stressful. It's telling me something apocalyptic is coming our way. Oh, sunny, sunny, sunny. It's open! Hey, guys! Looking god lettuce! How's it going? <laughs> city has become. There's not much we can do about it right now, other than finding the new job. Then we should head back. Where? The city of Styx. And why not the docks? What's at Styx that isn't at the docks? Klaus. Klaus is alive? I didn't tell you. No, but that's a pretty big thing to leave out. Well, he is. So let's go. How are we getting there? What's that? Rex. So let me get this straight. You want us to team up to stop custom? Well, I never said anything about, about unicorn causing genocide. And I thought that was already done with Lord Explosion Murder. No, you don't get it, Skylar. I knew it. Another adventure team genocide? No, that's just ridiculous. I mean, just because a hero on that team turns evil doesn't mean they want to kill all the adventure teams. 
I mean, that's just lazy writing. Quinkle's words, not mine. We're like derivative writing since it already happened. I agree with the panda here. How can you possibly be sure what you saw in your vision could be true? Well, I don't really know if my vision is, is true or not. All I know that is all visions are correct. Remember when Ogwe had the vision of Tai Long escaping prison and it turned out to be true? Well, yeah. And if those events never happened, I never would have been the Dragon Warrior. See? Who gets it? And no offense, but your team aren't exactly the best team out there to face Cass. I mean, besides Star, your member consists of a talky hand and a woolly mammoth from wildly hated animated films. Okay, is that all everyone says or says? Just a door from bad movies. My gut says yeah. There are heroes who are widely flawed, but still very useful in battle. Exactly! I mean, take High Five for example. He may have a big ego, but he's still brave and daring. That's why I consider him a main misfit guardian. Well, I call him a main misfit guardian in case we get newer members, but yeah. You get what I mean? Still no? Well, maybe a song can help. How does a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower? How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leaving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yo, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant. You know when love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British and then Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting friends and Consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in your town. Cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there's someone else we need. I know. Send it, Shimmer. You know what to do in the trenches. You do it to them. Send it, Shimmer. You're going to have to use them eventually. What's he going to do in the bench? Send it, Shimmer. Someone has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical, brilliant. Send it, Shimmer. 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 Shimmer. I have soldiers that will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my early life. No world will never be the same. Sunset Let him handle this. Oh. Well, this just got awkward. No kidding. So, should we go outside too, or should we give them time? I think the answer is pretty obvious. 